Speaking live from the editor's bunker, Cochrane's column. Thank goodness I don't tweet after what one editor did in this week of the Royal Birth. Now I know you've heard enough of that, but listen to this. There was an English editor, and it's the same one who dropped his lime green canopy on the Buckingham Palace carpet when he and I were invited to meet Her Majesty. Well, he's facing even longer incarceration in the Tower of London for what happened this week. I mean, this guy, Peter Barron, came a cropper on Twitter, and let this be a warning to all. I mean, if ever the dangers of social media uh, required illustration, consider what Mr. Barron did when uh, pontificating on the royal birth. In all the excitement after the birth was announced, the Yorkshire editor mistakenly tweeted that the Duchess of Cornwall had given birth to a boy rather than the Duchess of Cambridge. Now, despite rapidly deleting the tweet, it was highlighted in the Metro newspaper, which of course was national, and the newspaper added, that was news to Camilla. Now, as the embarrassed Peter said, if ever there was a salutary lesson in the dangers of social media, I have learned it today. I'm reading what he said. Last night, in the mad rush to break the historic news of Katie delivering a uh, future king, I got my duchesses in a twist. You certainly did, Peter. Now, what amazes me as an editor is not so much the gaff itself, but any local editor thinking that he could beat the world's media, the saturation media, camped outside the hospital, remember, um, to breaking the news of a royal birth. Now, there was also the case of the radio reporter who made a mistake in telling listeners that the birth would be delivered by Eagle. Now, he was actually thinking of Buckingham Palace where the announcement was put on an easel. I believe the tweeting in this newspaper to our news editor, David Walker, um, who tweeted to his followers about how the royal child might look. For those uninitiated in the world of Twitter, and that's most of you who read my column, um, you can send images. And in my newspaper column this week, you'll see an image of how they think the new prince would look. Now personally, um, with Andrew being in my name, Ronald Andrew Cochran, and the couple having hitched up at St Andrews, well, I think the name is obvious for the royal child. Um, Mr Salmon, I think, would certainly approve. And just as a tailpiece, the laugh of the week has to be the last community council meeting. Now, the chairman, Douglas Blair, was away on holiday in the States, so his vice chair, George Douglas, was in the hot seat, and they put forward a notice of motion to do with the illegal parking, and he turned to the police sergeant and asked him if he would like a vote. Someone has to show George the rule book. Too much looking.